Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad, and today I'm going to be doing a Beer Brothers and Chain Host collab. This is Lost in Yesterday, and it is an eight percent dipper. Um, it says all that on the front and the name. Um, this is one that I got from Priest Town. I can't remember how much I bought it for, um, but I got it a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember. Um, but I'm quite interested in it because Chain House are really, really good when they make some beers and I can get my hands on them. And if it's the same beer brothers that I am thinking of, um, the ones who made Black Widow, then fabulous. I love Black Widow. One of my favourite drinks by far. It's just amazing. It's just it's an Imperial Triple at 9.9. .9, but it's, it's amazing. Um, so if it's the same company, because I had a look um, and there's a fair few companies called Beer Brothers, so it's quite hard to gauge who, which one's which uh, but if it's the same company this should be a cracker of a beer um, bit of guff on the back it says a collabor collaboration dipper brewed with Chain House Brewing Co dry hopped with Citra, Galaxy and Idaho 7 hops um, it says that there it also says it's vegan beer which is lovely so any vegans I hope you drink along um, but besides that there is no one else on this um, obviously don't drink pregnant don't drink if you're under 18 that usual stuff it's a limited release i didn't see that limited release and it's 500 ml so it's a big big old beer um the can art is something simple just looks like sound waves some audio thing looks like it's out of jamiroquai video music video um it looks pretty mad but yeah uh, no it looks good so let's crack it open shall we and see what we've got oh, that's full Right full. Oh, it smells nice as well. I'm not even done the smell, but I can smell it. Just that smells good. Alright, I'll pull the rest in a second. So we've got orange juice looking beer with a off white ivory looking head, very compact bubbles. Um depends where you look. I've got compact here. I've got some nice looser ones around the top. It looks lovely. It smells great as well. Let's get a smell, because that's all I can do at the moment is just smell it. So let's get a smell and see what we get. Oh, pineapples. Mangoes. A bit of citrus, not too much, not over the top with punchy grapefruit. So it's, it's a nice hint, subtle hint of um, citrus like zest and peel that kind of smell I guess it smells lovely let's get a mouthful for boiling carb shall we body is it's medium bodied, but it's quite thick for a medium body. Um, carbonation. Oh, carbonation's almost non existent. It's very, very light. It's it's very mild. It's, it's quite drawn back. Um, but that body is thick, but it's not heavy bodied. It's, it's just a thick body, like a, like a mango juice kind of thick. It's juicy, thick. Let's go. Um, Top up and a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. That pineapple taste, well, smell that you could get isn't as strong on the palate. <clears throat> it's quite drawn back. It's they pull it back in flavour. It's quite noticeable in the smell when the flavour is quite pulled back. Um, citrus, not really. Mango, it's there and it's punchy. Um, it's a dry beer, it's got a slight bit of finish to it. And it's it's oaty as well, like um, like porridge oaty. It's got that kind of oaty taste to it. 8% is brilliantly hidden. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell that at all. I think it's hidden because of how thick it is. It's, it's, it's thick. Any floaters? Nah. Floatless beer. 
Um, yeah, flavor wise though, it's nice. It's not punchy. It's not in your face. It's but it's not bland. It's it's a nice middle. It's a nice medium beer. It's something you'd have through the night. You wouldn't start it, but I don't think you'd finish on it either. Um, pardon me. It's very yeah. It's very calm. Is the word I'm looking for. It's a calm beer. It's not. It doesn't try to be over the top. It doesn't try to be loud and eccentric. It's it's calm and it's it's got its head and it's it's cool and collected, if you will. I need to be careful drinking this though. Eight percent. That's dangerous if it's very well hidden. If it's been a warm day, it's not today. It's like zero degrees outside. But if it's a summer's day, nice and warm, um, I'd, I'd throw this down my neck because I can't taste the eight percent. It's very well hidden, as I've said. But yeah, I'd, I'd throw that down my neck because it's it's so nice and it's a summer beer, but it's thick enough to be a winter beer as well. It's it's good. It's good all around beer. I like it. So. I'm gonna go away and enjoy this because I do like it. Um, yeah, it's it's got a, a nice bitterness to it as well at the end. But um, yeah, that's that's about it for flavour. There's not there's flavour, pineapple, mango, oatiness. Not much in the way of citrus. Um, or when I say pineapple, mild pineapple, um, and then nice bit to finish. It's nice. It's not in your face. So. <coughs> If you have had Beer Brothers and Chain House um, lost in yesterday dipper, please let me know. Let me know what you think if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Beer Brothers' website. Um, I don't know where else you can buy it. I don't know if you can buy it on the website. I haven't looked. Oh. Pardon me. Um, but you can get it from Priestown, which is in Preston. I know you can get it from Beer Brothers Bar. I've had a look um, on some um, on Untapped. Uh, just to see where else you could buy it. Um, they tend to be very local to Preston. I think Beer Brothers are a Preston uh, brewery. If it's the same one. Chain House are in Rivington. Um, so they are quite local. It's, yeah, I, I think you can buy it around here quite easily. Up in Preston. Outside of Preston, you might start to struggle. But it's it's worth a look. So, yeah, if you've had it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, I'll leave Beer Brothers' website down below anyway. Um, I'll leave Chain House's website down below, but it's not, you can't buy beer on it. When I last checked, it's a merch shop, so just clothes and stuff. Um, if you want to keep up to date with the beer, it's on Facebook. They have a Facebook page where you can keep up to date with their stuff. Um, if you, have I gave it, a, I haven't given it a number out of 10. Out of 10, um, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I think a bit more flavour. Um, just a, just a little bit. Oh, wow, it's really oaty. Uh, just a little bit more flavour with the citrus would be a, a good nine. Um, but yeah, eight and a half out of ten. Very nice. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.